Okay, thanks so much for joining today for our third session of gentle chair yoga. Uh, we'll stay again in our chairs uh, for the entire time um, and we'll just get started like we usually do where you just come to the edge of your seat or wherever you can sit that you have a nice straight spine, your feet nice and firmly planted on the floor. If you need to put a towel or anything underneath you or even a towel on the floor to bring your feet uh, up closer to you just so that you can be in a nice relaxed but active pose. So I may turn my chair where you guys can see my spine but you kind of know the intro now. So I invite you to close your eyes down. Take a deep breath through your nose and then sigh that out and really just feel yourself letting go of any tension. We'll do a few, just inhale and make as much noise as you want with that sigh. Another big inhale and just sigh that out. So again, we'll come back into our bodies. Think about your feet where they meet the floor. Lift your toes up and think about your heels and then the ball of your foot and then the outside bone of your foot touching the ground. Nice and firm and then let your toes drop down. Just bring your awareness up your legs, into your knees, into your hips where they meet the chair and then up your straight spine, up toward your shoulders. You can begin to roll your shoulders gently up, back and down. You can inhale as you bring them up and then exhale as you bring them down. Bring a little stretch and length into your neck and then bring your attention to the top of your head Imagine there's that little string just pulling it up to the sky and that'll bring your chin down as well. So now just think about again that string. Can you find any length in your spine pulling your rib cage up away from your hips but keep your shoulders down. Don't, don't tense your shoulders up as you pull up but just kind of lift through your torso keeping your seat nice and planted feet nice and planted and then again just come into the breath big inhale think of each three parts of the breath entering your belly then your ribs then your chest and then a full exhale draining out any tension so I'll do less instruction and let you guys just stay with your breath for a few for a few rounds scanning your body as you inhale finding anywhere that's tight and really just feeling that dissolve loosen as you exhale And your breaths don't have to be that dramatic, but it can be useful. Okay, begin to bring some length into your neck. You can let your head hang heavy to the right side. So keeping your shoulders down, just let your right ear fall toward your right shoulder, lengthening through the left side. Getting a little longer and more open with each exhale. And then really just at your own pace and with your own breath, just breathe, relax and allow openness in your neck. You can let your head fall forward, stretching the back of your neck and shoulders. And just do little circles or wiggles or whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, 
we'll bring balance over to the left side or bring our ear to the left side stretching on the right and you might notice if one side feels very different than the other you can give that one a little more attention and just spend a little time here try to get do what you need to do to where you feel balanced relaxed and open in your neck and shoulders you might be able to hear my neck <laughs> through the microphone so we can all use time and attention lengthening and relaxing okay and so no rush but when you're ready we can move on to our shoulders again big circles inhale up exhale down at your own breath your own pace you can bring your whole arm into it if you like a little more exaggerated opening your heart your chest and then you can reverse when you're ready so inhaling up exhaling down stretching and opening across the back side of your shoulders I like to bring my fingertips up and put them on my shoulders and then when I'm doing the, the forward circles and again whatever your body you can you can alternate act like you're swimming we're just opening up what needs to be open and everybody's body's different so i want you to practice just spending time listening to what your body wants more than what i'm walking you through hmm. okay when you feel pretty open and nice and relaxed through your neck and shoulder we can move up let's do um we'll bring your hands down onto your lap kind of check through your posture again make sure feet are nice and planted spine straight on this one we'll inhale our arms up meet in the center and then drop your right hand and you can hold on to the chair and stretch over getting a nice long line from your right hip planted all the way to your right fingertips I said right but left sorry we're leaning to the right stretching into the left if you're going the opposite way it is no problem we'll just do the other side next so you're just thinking about that big stretch you feel in your rib cage making a nice little arch just go as deep as your body is feeling today long inhales long deep exhales full 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 we'll do one more breath on this side and then inhale back up to the center and then drop the other hand nice long stretch from your hip to your fingertips and if you want an even deeper stretch I like to cross my opposite hand across my lap and it kind of makes a counterweight or counterbalance so you can lean even a little deeper just breathe into your open rib cage feel your lungs stretch space created there we'll do one more deep exhale and then inhale up to center and this time we'll drop our left knee I mean sorry left hand on our right knee and then bring your right hand around behind you on the back of the chair we'll do a nice gentle twist exhaling as you twist big inhale and just see if you can go a little deeper with each exhale keeping your knees pointed forward 
and then just look over your right shoulder nice gentle twist one more big inhale just squeeze gently out with the exhale and inhale back up hands up to center and now opposite side so right hand to left knee left hand on the back of the chair and just listen to your body of how deep it wants to go no need to force anything one more big inhale and exhale on this side then we'll inhale back up hands up and then exhale down okay nice all right now let's do just a little bit of cat and cow so cat sorry cow <laughs> we'll inhale push your chest forward I'll sit sideways so you can see my spine a little better but you're dipping your your belly forward rounding your back bring your chin up toward the sky opening through your chest big inhale and then exhale you're rounding your back like a Halloween cat kind of pushing your shoulders forward and exhaling fully so again do these at your own pace your own breath but inhale exhale and yeah it definitely helps to be on the edge of the chair so you've got room for your back to go and just as, as exaggerated as you like you can bring your neck into it bring your chin down to your chest as you exhale in cat and then bring your chin up chest open and cow We'll do one more after this one. Okay, nice. All right, let's do a little bit of that hip walking. I don't know if you got to do that last time, but if you're you're on the floor, but just we're just walking our hips around it kind of helps to start getting everything loosened up you can bring as much of your torso into it just left right left right walking back and forth you can't mess this up <laughs> but it's just it's nice because it kind of brings all your joints into the action and you can do it in a chair okay so now let's bring our knees a little bit wider and then if you're on the floor you can kind of just you'll <laughs> you'll figure it out um, but I'm trying to think how I would do it on the floor so we're gonna bring the opposite shoulder toward your knee so exhale forward and bring your shoulder toward your knee inhale up and then exhale to the other side and so you can just start where you are and then just get as deep and exaggerated as you want but inhale up exhale down And with all of our movements, we're really working to just keep our attention and our breath 
exactly on what we're doing and really listen to the feedback we're getting from our body so when you feel tightness you notice it and you can breathe into it and let it go and if something is, doesn't feel right just make whatever adjustment you need so that it feels feels good to your body so exhale down inhale up okay let's do one more each side see how deep you can go inhale up okay so now let's bring our knees back a little closer in together we'll inhale down or i'm sorry inhale up and then now we'll just hinge forward See if you can lay your belly on your thighs or just head in that direction. And then you can exhale your arms down and drop your head. Again, get some, bring that length back into our necks. Hang over. Then inhale halfway up. See if you can get your, not your spine nice and long and then exhale down and we're rolling forward looking for length all the way in our spine from your tailbone to the top of your head so again inhale flat back bring your arms up in a T hold there and then exhale down relax everything drain it out let your head hang heavy it's a good time to roll your jaw around let your face muscles relax okay inhale up again flat spine nice and long hold there and hold your abs in and exhale down inhale up see if you can find more length if you if it helps to bring your knees wider apart do that and then exhale down and this time while we're down I'm gonna see if I can get a little deeper you can grab your the legs of your chair even to pull your spine nice and long wherever or you can reach around behind grab the back and if it's too much forward fold come up whenever you need to take a little break and see if you want to come back down and get more but we're just letting our spines get nice and long stay with your breath stay down here like two more breaths and just put your arms where they help you find a good stretch you can walk your fingers back if you're if you've got your hands on the floor this is another place where blocks can come in handy i could have said that sooner but like if you if you're only here and you want to have the floor supporting you bring a block in or a towel okay so we're going to think about as we come up coming up nice and slow and stacking our vertebrae keeping our chins down as we stack our vertebrae back and let our chins be the last thing to come up so a nice slow roll up okay so now just get back into your kind of mountain first position big deep breaths 
It might have brought your heart rate up a little bit, being hunched over and a little upside down for a while. Okay, I'm gonna move my chair so I can show you guys a new one. We'll do our warrior poses. So you can, so if you're on the ground, if you're, uh, I can, sh I'll do the chair first and then I'll show you just the standing normal warrior. But in the chair, we're gonna come walk, so walk your feet to the right side and then bring your left foot back and just play with how much you've got, how much room you've got in your hip. But we're gonna stretch the, the front side of our legs here. So first, just stretch back. And so if you wanna stand, you can stand. And now I've got Trina in a chair and Ruby standing. So Trina, I'll leave you here in the chair. <laughs> and then Ruby, for you, just step back your right foot, but have it a little bit of an angle, your toes angled forward. I'm gonna stand where you can see my feet. So your right foot is straight forward and your left foot is at an angle. And so then just lean forward into your right knee and have your hips face forward so you feel a nice stretch in the front of your hip here. And then you can bring your hands up, right fingers, and then just put your gaze on the tip of your middle finger and focus there. So then I'll come back into the chair for Trina. And then Trina, and then you're welcome to do this too, Ruby, if it feels comfortable, but you can bring your left hand to the back of your leg and then bring your right arm up and get a nice stretch there too. Okay, and then release. We'll bring our legs back around and do the other side. So you just have your left knee bent on this side. Bring your right leg back. Feel a nice stretch and open here. And then just make sure you're bringing your knee right over your ankle for stability. And you bring your arms up, gazing at the tip of your middle finger on your left hand. Think about lifting through your torso. can drop your back hand, raise your left. Okay, nice job. Okay, how'd that feel? <laughs> Great. Okay, so let's start to windshield wiper. So you can do this one, Ruby, just sitting and put your knees out in front of you. And then just windshield wiper, both knees. And it just kind of loosens everything up, warms it up, balances it after a little stretch. Okay. I think I'll move my chair again. All right, so let's do some more hip openers. We did this before, Trina. Uh, we'll bring left leg over your right ankle and then just see where it is if you can bring it up over your knee or wherever it needs to be what we're looking for is to open up bring this knee down there you go and then depending on how much access you have how open it is you can start to bring your chest forward but we're stretching through this inner thigh and our hip just breathing opening looking for space relaxing any tension in our low back to allow it to 
Let us fold at the hips a little forward toward your knee. Another option is to bring your knee up. You, if you, depending on if you can uh, reach around, you can pick your knee up and bring it up close to your chest. Uh, if that's easier than leaning over. Uh, it's laughing now. <laughs> you can pick up your foot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh, there she made it good. Okay, oh, I just switched. So, so spend a, a couple more breaths on that side. I just switched without thinking about it. But then we'll head over to the other side. So when you're ready, bring your right foot across your left ankle. And same thing, depending on where you are, you might want to be here, just leaning forward and feel plenty of stretch. You may want to bring it up over your knee. We're just going to open up. Look for what our body, which spots are talking to us. Could use a little attention. Place our breath there. Deep inhale. And if you want a little more, you can bring your chest toward your leg. Or if it feels right, you can bring your leg up toward your chest. But on that one, you want to feel like you've got a nice straight spine that you can bring your leg up. So everybody's bodies are different <laughs> lengths, longer legs, longer torsos. So I really try to teach and guide to what your what makes sense for you today because something <laughs> that I could have even done last week some days it's just like oh no I'm not gonna that's not gonna work today so it's just so great to check in see where you are breathe into the tight spots and get curious about like when you do find tightness like did that what did that come from did that come from something I did physically or is that like tension I need to let go of? Is that, you know, it's just, it's good to get curious about it instead of just being mad that it's there. <laughs> I find that more helpful to find it, breathe into it and then just let it go. And then I'm more aware when it tries to creep back. When that tension tries to come back in I can have more to say about it. Okay, so let's come back up when you're ready to a nice neutral spine. Kind of wiggle out all the things, get a little reset. And our posture. And then let's do a little bit with our shoulders. Um, I don't know Trina or Tracy if you've got um, a strap today, but like anything will do. You may not need a strap, but I'll show you this stretch that we've done before, a shoulder stretch um, that it may may come in useful. You can also use uh, like Trace or uh, Trina said she had a jacket uh, that she could use. But what we're gonna do is first just breathe up. Bring your arms up, chest open wide, and I'll go ahead and have my strap in my hand. You're going to bring your right hand down toward your right shoulder and then drop your left hand and see if you can come back around and either hold, touch your hands and link your hands together or hold on to a strap or a jacket. So what we're doing is trying to open up our right elbow to the sky, left elbow to the ground, opening up through your chest and your heart and seeing if you can meet your hands. And if you can, you tug and if not, you, you've got this rope or whatever you've got to connect your hands together. So that way you can work this hand down, that hand up. Breathing and relaxing through any tight areas the whole time. We'll stay here a few breaths.
just relaxing, opening, maybe even smile a little bit. It's not so bad. Okay, one more big breath. Open up and then drop your shoulders down. Roll them around. Roll your neck. Okay, and then we'll do that on the other side. So inhale up, have your strap or your jacket or a towel or whatever you need, and then exhale your right hand down, and then you're gonna drop your left hand toward your left shoulder, right hand, either grabbing that hand or grabbing the towel. I'm definitely tighter on this side. And this is another place it's so great to notice the difference between your left side and your right so that you can really work to balance it out. The more balance we can find in our shoulders and our hips it affects the way we walk. It'll affect our overall health to be able to balance out each side. And it, we can sometimes assume <laughs> that left and right are always going to be the same, but often they are not. So it's really great to just put our awareness on it. And so if you found on this one that you need to go back to the other side, I'm going to stay on this side a few more breaths, but you go where your body needs. Big inhales and just open and soften with the exhale hmm. okay one more breath and then you can relax release that again roll your shoulders out do whatever you need to do to kind of reset come back into center and then now I'll show you guys this breathing exercise uh, I was talking with Trina about earlier it's Nadi Shodana uh, and it's a balancing breath and so as long as you're not really stuffed up if you have a cold or out you know if you're really stuffed up I wouldn't recommend doing this because we're going to close one nostril at a time so if you don't want to do that today, just follow what I'm saying, but just use your own breath. You can count your inhales and your exhales. Lots of times it's really nice to do a, maybe like a three breath inhale and then like a four to six exhale if you want to do something different than what I'm teaching right now. Uh, but for Nadi Shodana, you'll bring your right palm up, face forward, and drop your to your pointer finger and your middle finger down so it looks a little like a spock <laughs> uh, and so then point your palm toward your face and what we're going to do is put our thumb on our right nostril and then we'll alternate and put your ring finger on your left nostril so first we'll start by closing your right nostril with your thumb and breathing in just through your left nostril I think I said that correctly <laughs> but we're gonna as I walk you through imagine it's kind of like your breath is gonna enter then you close the left side and breathe out the right and then breathe in the right close and breathe out the left so it's like a little rainbow of breath going back and forth and so it's a really great thing it's like it balances both sides of your brain it's great for your nervous system just clearing out and it's it's great if you're ever feeling anxious and you just want you're looking for clear calm balance like that's that's the best thing I can say so again we'll get the hand position first finger and ring finger pointed towards you so we'll inhale close exhale out the right inhale in the right close exhale left
close, exhale. So inhale left, close, exhale, inhale right, close, exhale. So I'm going to leave you guys and I'll occasionally come in and give instruction in case you get lost. And if you get lost, you know, I, you'll figure you can still breathe. <laughs> Just don't close both of them indefinitely. So inhale left, close, exhale right. Inhale right, close, exhale left. At your own pace. We'll do about three more and one full breath is coming in, out, out, in. And so you'll end your last breath by exhaling through your left side. So I'll guide the last one in left. Close, out right, in right, close, out left. Okay, you can drop your hands into your lap. And again, just come back in to a relaxed, easy, seated position. Hmm. Hopefully I let you guys do that long enough to, to feel something, but you really do. like do something like 15 of them and you'll notice a difference in the way you're just the clarity and the calm, your ability to feel calm uh, it's something i recommend trying and i'd love to hear if you do try it or if you have questions about it um, it's kind of impossible to be anxious about anything else while you're focusing on that <laughs> i think that's part of it uh, so i like to pass that along Okay, so I want to um, have time for like the full body relaxation. So I invite you to get into basically the most comfortable position you can. Uh, if you have a towel or a jacket or a blanket or anything that you want that like in a chair, I like to put like a towel around me kind of tuck myself in because it lets me relax but still sit up and if you want to lay down flat on the ground if you're on the floor feel free to I would recommend it <laughs> if you're worried that you'll fall asleep I'll try to make sure I don't leave anybody asleep <sighs> okay but really let's just take some time to take nice deep inhales and think about each part of our body. We're going to scan and do a full body scan and relaxation. So just think about where your body is meeting the ground right now. And let gravity, let the earth support you. So try to feel yourself wherever you can. Just melt down. Let go. So bring your attention first into your left hand. See if you can find your pulse. Can you feel your pulse in your thumb or your fingers or your palm? And just be with it. If you may not feel it and if not, just stay with your breath. Gently entering. Notice that pause. And then the exhale, 
and then a pause. So just stay with that. Feel your hand completely relaxed. Your left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm and shoulder. Totally relaxed. Feel that spread down your left rib cage and into your left hip. Feel it soften, open, loosen. And then imagine that and feel that relaxation spread down your left leg, through your thigh, your knee, your calf, ankle, your left foot, and all your left toes completely relaxed. If you're laying where you can let your foot just flop open, just act like the whole left side of your body is asleep. Hmm. And now bring your attention into your right hand. Maybe you can find your pulse there. Just breathe gently and keep your attention on your breath as you feel relaxation spreading up your right arm through your elbow and upper arm into your shoulder and just let that relax. Fall asleep. Feel it spread down your right rib cage and into your right hip. Feel that melt. Your right thigh and knee, calf and ankle, and all into your right foot and toes. So now all of your extremities are relaxed, asleep. And now bring your attention into your low back. Feel that, let go. Your middle back, upper back, across your shoulders. Feel your belly relaxed, light and loose. Picture your organs, each relaxing. Thank them for the hard work they do and give them a little time out <laughs> while you lay here. Feel your chest, the front of your chest and shoulder blades relax, lengthening and into your neck and your jaw, the muscles in your face, your cheeks, even your eyeballs relaxing, your forehead and your scalp, and last your brain. Just let it be. Just allow your breath to enter and exit and just watch it. Just like be curious about it and stay with it. And if you notice that you're thinking of something other than your breath, just let it go once you're aware that a thought has crept in. And return to just watching your breath. So we'll take just the next few moments to practice that, just being relaxed and allowing our breath to enter and exit.
And if you notice that thoughts have crept back in, just let them go again. Follow your breath again. can do a little body scan again, starting at your feet, working your way up your body, just noticing if there's anywhere that you catch that you're holding tension. Maybe your hips or your shoulders or your jaw. We tend to do that and we don't even notice. And so it's just so good to take time to notice and then just realize we can let it go we can breathe into it maybe it doesn't go completely but we can soften it and it's that awareness that lets us notice when it creeps back in we'll take just the next minute To just be in this relaxed state. Do another little scan of your body. Notice again if there's anywhere you can soften. And then just begin to invite gentle movement back into your body. Start with your fingers and your toes. Just wiggle them gently. Maybe circle your ankles and your wrists and if you're laying on the ground uh, you may roll to one side or the other just begin to prepare yourself to sit up but don't no need to rush to it so gently roll to one side lay there in the fetal position for a few breaths And then when you're ready, you can push yourself up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed if you'd like. And if you're in the chair, just begin to work yourself toward a, a more alert seated position. So I'm gonna let go of my blanket, come back to the edge of my chair, come back into my alert, Seated posture, my feet planted on the ground, seat planted, spine nice and long and tall, shoulders up, back and down, hands relaxed in my lap. And then I'm going to place my heart, my hand on my heart and invite you to do the same. Take a few nice inhales. And I'm gonna do two big inhales and a sigh, and then an inhale and a hum. And the hum is really relaxing and nice for your nervous system. You feel it all through your throat. It's great when you have a sore throat. So I invite you to join me in that if you'd like. So first a big inhale and a sigh. Another one. And then a big inhale and a hum. Okay, I'll 
bring my hands to heart center. Bow to each of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Mm-hmm. <laughs>